Hi guys and welcome back to my course. In this video, we will learn about the spread operator. The spread operator allows arrays and objects to be expanded into elements in case of array and key value pairs in case of objects. Let's try an example to understand it better. Say we have this array. Say one, two, three, four, and five. So if we try running something like this, so dot, 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 the spread operator and array. So it prints an array with five elements, the exact same five elements which were in this M array one. So what it did was it expanded our array elements of M array one. And because we're using these square brackets, so it created a new array with the same elements. So if I do something like this, say m array two on dot 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 m array one. And let's try printing m array two here. So as you can see, we still get the same result. So what's happening here is this piece of code, it creates a copy of the first array. So if you remember in one of the JavaScript videos, we talked about a reference issue. So if we do something like this and we update our array, say push six, and we try printing both the arrays, say m array one and two, both the arrays get affected. But if you use the spread operator to create a new array, so it creates a new array, it just doesn't give you a reference. So as you can see, the second array has only five elements but the first one got updated. So this spread operator gives you one way of creating copies of arrays. It can also be used to concatenate multiple arrays. So let's say we had six, seven, eight here, and now you wanted to create a new array with these elements. So let's say M array three. Normally what you would do is M array one dot concatenate m array 2 uh, if you print the third array it gives you an array with all these elements combined now another way could be using the spread operator so empty array so here you can fill in data from first array and the second array so dot 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 and M array one, it brings all the elements from first array, comma, dot, 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 M array two. So it brings all the elements from the second array. So let's save it. And as you can see, we've still got the same set of elements. So that's how you can use this spread operator to concatenate multiple arrays. Similarly, if you had more arrays, you could simply do comma, dot, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Also the sequence matters. So if I just change it to this, so now we have six, seven, eight first, and then one, two, three, four, five. So just a small thing to remember. Similarly, it can also be used to add new elements to the start or the end of the array. Say we wanted zero at the start. So we can do zero comma. So as you can see, zero is appended to the start of the array. Similarly, say we wanted nine at the end. So as you can see, it's appending nine at the end of the array. Basic stuff, but it comes really handy once you start writing really complex code. You can perform all these action on objects as well. So let's give that a try. So let's just quickly comment this. So let's say M object one, let's say name John. Let's create another object. So M object two, so age say 28 and we wanted to concatenate all the fields from object one and object two and create a new object so in that case we can simply do we can use this spread operator so dot 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 m object one so it brings all the key value pairs from the first object comma dot 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 and m object two so it brings all the key value pairs from second object so if we try printing it So as you can see, it's giving us a new object with keys from object one and object two. 
So if we add another key here, say last name, lark, so it gives us key values from first object and key values from second object. And that's a wrap for today.